The theatrical work PRD Antiheroes touched on the issue of the Pearl River Delta as the factory of the world. Today, the whole Pearl River Delta economy is in decline, where workers are forced to take an early break to go back home for the Spring Festival or Chinese New Year. Many workers have lost their jobs. Growing up, I watched a lot of Cantonese comedies or farces, including soap operas from Hong Kong. They are very different from the American soap operas. They are more plebeian or pedestrian and more local. So I adopted this tone throughout my play. Sometimes when I watch it, I have the feeling that this play was not done by me. Then I'm watching something else, a totally different program. None of the actors or actresses were professionals, but rather mostly students. So the rehearsals were really very tough. But because these youngsters all grew up in the Pearl River Delta region, they had a firm grasp of this rowdy and boorish way of acting and performing. It was much more relaxed because the acting was not done by professionals. Antihero. I don't think it's a totally derogatory term. In traditional Chinese legends and folklore, the forest outlaws of the past are anti-heroes. An anti-hero has a more folksy and wild way of doing things. He is not likely going to follow the social norms. I feel there is something more human in these characters. A hero is something for society to flaunt and tout. They are the mainstream models. Anti-heroes often reflect something outside the mainstream. They are often recognized for their accomplishments outside the official ideology regardless of their personalities or flaws. So you will see this kind of element in the female factory workers in the play. I gave them anti-hero characteristics. In other words, they are the heroes with no names, anonymous and unsung heroes.